let me ask you this deep question. When it's all said and done, would you have said more than you've actually done? For vast majority of people, the answer is yes. Because let's be honest, we live in a crazily distracted society today where people think it's okay to fall back on their commitments and promises that they're making to other people and themselves. They're literally scamming themselves of their own potential. Don't be one of those people. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what does it really take for you to finish strong? How do you really start like a world-class achiever that you are? How do you stay committed to your promises? How do you stop scamming yourself of your own potential? And it comes down to these three steps. Make sure to act on them step by step. Are you ready? Okay, amazing. The first step is remove your kryptonites. You gotta realize that no matter how much willpower you have, if your environment doesn't support your new habit, your new dream, your new goal, guess what? You are gonna fall off the wagon. Even if you're the most disciplined person on planet Earth, if your fridge right now is full of snacks and all the sugary desserts, even if you're the most disciplined person, guess what? One day when you come home from work and you're feeling really hungry, what are you gonna do? You're gonna turn to him and you're just gonna have a bite and you think, oh, it's not a big deal and it'll become a habit, right? So what you gotta do is you gotta discover what is it that you keep on turning to that makes you epically distracted and that prevents you from being focused on what truly matters in your life. What is it that is your weakest kryptonite? Because you gotta remove that from your life. For example, about 12 years ago when I was addicted to drugs, the reason why I kept on just turning to drugs and so forth because it's so readily available to me. All my friends were taking it. It just took like a phone call for me and I was regularly hanging around with them so they would offer it to me. And so as a result, it was very easy what I had to do. But it was of course hard making the decision. I had to cut myself away from my friends. But remember, decision means to cut. If you wanna make a decision in your life, you got to cut yourself away from any other possibility so you can focus on your dreams, your ambitions, your empowering habits. That's what it takes. Yes, it seems extreme, but if you want extreme results, you've got to do extreme things in your life. So that's the first step. You've got to remove your kryptonite. Remove the things that you keep on turning to. Get rid of it. Make it hard for you to basically just turn to these distractions and make it really easy for you to just work on what truly matters in your life. Is that making sense? The second thing is you've got to burn the bridge. Just like what I've said to you in terms of what decide means, which is to, literally to cut, you've got to realize winners win because of the fact that they've literally burnt the bridge. There's no going back. And if you find yourself right now procrastinating on your dreams, it's because Think about it. There is no there is no sense of urgency. There's no sense of do or die, right? I remember when I was attending a mindset event, there was this guy who was like built as like, do you remember Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the days when he was like massive, right? It was a really just ripped and, this, and so forth, right? I saw a guy who looked pretty much bigger than Arnold. It's crazy. And I approached him and said, oh, do you have any tips for me? Because, uh, you know, I want to get bigger in the gym. And he said, Tim, yeah, so basically what I do is when I'm lifting weights, um, I, I visualize this, this crazy thing. Can I share this with you, Tim? And I said, yeah, sure. What, what do I mean to visualize? He says, oh, so I visualize a guy stood next to me with a gun to my head. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, that, that's what I visualize. I'm like, isn't that extreme? He's like, well, if you want extreme results, Tim, you've got to do extreme things. I'm just like, that's crazy. And I said, so what's the, what does that help you to do? He says, well, I tell myself that gun's gonna be pulled, he's gonna shoot me if I don't finish my last rep. If I don't give it everything I've got. Think about that. If you had a gun to your head right now and you had to make it happen, I'm sure you're gonna find a way of making it happen. Is that true? Because the reality is, is there have been times in your life where there was a do or die situation where you literally had to do it because there was so much on the line. Think about times, for example, there was a deadline, right? There was a deadline set by university or maybe you was going to school and they said you had to hand it in that day. And guess what? Night before, you're just panicking, just making it happen, doing whatever it takes. Isn't that true? But as we grow up as adults, we forget about how powerful it really is when we burn the bridge, when there is no going back. And I also had this burn the bridge 
sort of um, scenario when, for example, I was procrastinating literally on writing my first book. You might see it behind me, Follow Your Heart and Take Action. And for many years, people were asking me to write a book, but I was just like, oh, not much of a writer, and just came up with all of the bullshit excuses. And this is why I thought, you know what? I gotta commit, I gotta burn the bridge. How could I do it? Well, one of my friends recommended that I get a, a coach who will help me to write a book, right? He, he's like published like best-selling books and so forth. So I was like, okay. And I jumped on the phone with them and they sold me a package, which was like crazy amount. In total, it was over $20,000 and they gave me a specific deadline when the book had to be basically finished and when the book will be launching. Do you think I worked my ass off? Yes, because when you're committed, you commit your time. Right now, you gotta burn the bridge. You gotta burn the bridge so there's no going back. Maybe that's handing in your notice. Maybe you gotta just do something so it is do or die. It's gun to the head moment. Because when you are that extreme in your life, you find a way of making it happen. Because the nature of our psychology is we're twice as more motivated to avoid pain than we are to seek pleasure. Hence why, for example, if you were making love with your partner in your bedroom and all of a sudden a tiger comes in and he's about to eat you, I'm sure you're gonna get your ass out of there. Isn't that true? Some of you are probably thinking, no Tim, I'm still gonna make love. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, right, you're going to find a way of getting out there. You know, the nature of our brain, remember, is to survive. Right now, you're not feeling enough pain. When we feel enough pain, we move. Right now, you'd rather stay comfortable because there isn't enough pain, there isn't enough pressure. It's pressure that creates diamonds. So you gotta do extreme actions. Burn the bridge, there's no going back. This is what I'm destined to do and fulfill whatever it takes. That's the trait of world-class achievers. The third step is, talk about burn the bridge, you wanna gain accountability. Now, whenever I mention accountability, people will say, oh, that's awesome, Tim. My friend's holding me accountable. And I asked them, so how's that going? And they normally say, oh yes, it was, it was going good, <laughs> right? I'm like, what do you mean it was going good? Well, uh, I, wa I wanted to you know, grow my business, but they stopped checking in with me and you know, they kind of let me off and so forth. Or I want to go to gym and you know, they said, oh, it's fine, you know, let's just chill today. Those are the worst accountability partners. Never get your friends, never get your family involved. It has to be a professional relationship. You have to tell this accountability partner that if I don't achieve these goals, this is gonna be the forfeit. The forfeit is gonna be something that's painful, that way you wanna avoid it. And then you give, us, give yourself a pleasure, right? As human beings, our behavior is dictated by pain and pleasure. So give yourself a pleasure. So what if you do finish these habits? What if you do basically commit to all of these processes? And every single week you wanna check in with them and you'll have the forfeit to do if you failed but you want the forfeits to be so bad that you're like, oh my God, I really don't want to do this. So for example, with my personal clients, we set some epic forfeits uh, because they are you know, fairly successful in terms of finances. They, they put, for example, Mercedes Benz on the line, they're gonna buy it for their wives and they put like a lot of cash on the line. If they don't do it, they have to like give it away and so forth. So you've got to think, what do you really want to avoid? Then you tell that accountability partner, that's what's gonna happen if I don't follow through on these specific measurable goals this week. Is that making sense? Because let me ask you, if you were to do that, would you get your ass moving? You bet. And studies by American Training Society showed how when you've got an accountability partner, your level of follow through will go all the way up by 95%. Isn't that crazy? So go find the right accountability partner who's no BS, who gives you tough love. So that way you stay committed to every single promise you set yourself you'll do. You've got this. Remember this year's ticking on so fast. And this is why inside out, I want you to stay committed to your promise. Let's do this together. We're here not to just like earn some money, pay some bills and die. We're here to change the world. So just wake yourself up for a moment. If you've fallen off the track, it's fine. Just get yourself back up. We're all here for you, but we need you to stay committed. So if you're committed, comment committed right now in the comments box below. Keep it up, keep doing whatever it takes. You're born to win, so keep playing to win every single day. As always, follow your heart and take action.